Hey guys, welcome back to The Breakfast Club. This is episode 31. Thanks for tuning in with us today. Um, first off, as many of you probably may have noticed over the last course of the last week, our website was down for what? a while. Uh, like the longest it's ever been down in the like history. Like four and a half, five days. Yeah, so that <laughs> um, was a lot of fun. So apologies for that. We do, we've got it sorted out. It's back up and running. <laughs> Um, yeah, there was lots of questions. Typically, we'll post, you know, about that right when it happens. But yeah. there was a lot going on, and uh, yeah, yeah. And it's uh, we always appreciate everyone uh, coming to us and saying, "Did you know your website's down?" Yeah. And on the fourth day, <laughs> we love everybody. But on the fourth day, it was getting a little bit like I'm very well, aware. And the, on a whole different <laughs> side of things, we had lots of people reaching out to us who were genuinely concerned that like the site disappeared into the abyss of the internet like yeah. we've been having so much like we've been having a lot of troubles with like social media and facebook banning us <laughs> there yeah. was a lot of people genuinely concerned that like our website got taken down yeah so it did not get taken down we are Websites fine are property <laughs> we're still in business we're good to go website yeah. is up and running we apologize for the inconvenience that may have caused any of you but hopefully it uh, does not happen again That's one of the few things that we have <laughs> control over is yeah. our website yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, so also we wanted to touch, uh, we went back and shot the BCL Bison again. Yes. Oh, Bam. sorry. That <laughs> guy. You get the wrong guy. Yeah. Um, a while ago we had done a QD review on it. We said that uh, we would revisit that later. Well, we did to, on Thursday. We did on Thursday. Yeah, so uh, BCL, uh, we got in touch with them, got the parts that we needed. It was basically an extractor kit that we needed uh, on the bolt uh, because we were having ejection issues. And basically what was happening when the round was being extracted, it would be extracted properly, but then the extractor would actually let go of the cartridge, or sorry, not the cartridge, the casing, and then it wouldn't actually have enough force to eject, eject it. So we got that kit in, that was done. Uh, BCL was awesome. They handled it uh, super fast for us so we can get back out on the range. And while we were there, we wanted to do some accuracy testing and function testing, because yeah. do two things at once. So we put the heaviest, biggest, best scope we had <laughs> uh, lying around, <laughs> which was our Schmidt 3 to 20 by 50 demo in a spur mount. So take out all the variables of having a poor optic, slap that guy on there, put the heaviest AccuTac bipod on it. Uh, so we both shot the gun. It doesn't yeah. move. No, it doesn't at all. So there's uh, like we it was used, a little uh, intimidating after videoing him shooting it because there's a lot of concussion that comes off of yeah, it. Yeah, super it's, loud. It's kind of a big boom. Yeah, but it doesn't like it shot very nice. It did. Yeah, it shot really good. We used a poncho as an improvised uh, bag, which <laughs> just another reason why you should get one. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so that worked really well, and we did well. So I shouldn't say it worked really well because we only had four different types of ammo because right. ammo shortages suck. Yeah. So we have random ammo on the shelf. We had four different kinds and nothing was, I would call like, the only, the only good one that we had was Nosler match grade. Right. Other than that, we had no Hornady of any variety of like uh, grain weight, different uh, styles. We had Federal Blue Box, we had Barnall, and then we had Remington. Uh, Federal Blue Box is basically, you know, everyone knows what it is. It's the cheapest hunting ammo that you can possibly get your hands on. It's not fancy. Right. Remington UMC ammo, I've never liked it. Uh, I do not call it high quality ammunition and then Barnall is like uh Russian? Russian ammo? No. I don't know. I believe it's Russian. I can't remember. It's um way out that way. Yep. Uh ammunition. I can't remember the exact country. I will put it right here. <laughs> I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's Russian. Uh anyway. Got uh all three of those and we had some nozzle match grade like I said and nozzle shot really well. Uh we had just over about an inch yeah. right in there. Like we went through all four ammo types first yeah. and then got you know used to shooting the rifle he was shooting left-handed yeah um so his I'm, collarbone's still broken so i'm still broken <laughs> um so shooting left-handed which probably shouldn't have done that right. but i did anyway yeah. i'm sorry chelsea uh did that <laughs> and yeah so even left-handed broken collarbone with not great ammo the the nozzle did really well that yeah. was good ammo uh federal was actually not it too terribly not bad. bad. So where I was going with that is we, he shot all four types of ammo, then kind of revisited the last two. Yeah. 
tightened up the groups a bit on your second round. Bernal and Remington were like two to three MOA, and then Federal and Nosler were more so to the one to two MOA. Yeah. So it was, um, we did have some, the occasional flyer on the fourth round for yeah. Federal and Nosler. It was weird. Yeah, just <laughs> boom, way out there. But we did, a, we redid those ones and the groups were a little bit better. Uh, but we are far from professionals. Yeah, no. We're just a bunch of goofs who run out to the range with a camera and a gun. So yeah, we, uh, we did take some shots at the gong though later, and you can whack a three in a yeah. mirror gong. So I, yeah, no, it was pretty good. Yeah, it works. It we the gun is functioning properly, probably, Pro probably. probably. <laughs> Collarbone. Oh, uh, yeah. Cinnamon toast. So, <laughs> cinnamon toast. <laughs> cinnamon toast. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so, yeah, the gun functions properly. Yes. Uh, accuracy wasn't super horrendous by any no. means. And if you actually spent, like, a very small a amount of time <laughs> and, like, looked up the twist rate of the barrel and, like, did some, like, you know, use your big, big brain time yeah. and found an ammo that it works with, that's the hard part, finding the ammo. Yeah. But if right you now, actually anyway. had good ammo... I think that would be a wicked little shooter. Mm -hmm. uh, I would not use it as a varmint rifle because you're just... Bah! Yeah, it's loud. Yeah. Get the 16-inch version. For sure. Like for a varmint gun. <laughs> All right. Um, segue in mention of ponchos. We did say we were going to do the draw for the bonus poncho draw. So yes. last week um, we kind of touched on that a little bit. If you had participated in our initial poncho draw... We sent out a little notice that if you show us your poncho, tag us on Facebook, Instagram, we'd enter you in a draw for a $50 gift card. Uh, yep. We made that draw today. The winner has been contacted. And yeah, huzzah! Congratulations. Thanks for showing us uh, your ponchos. <laughs> there were some fun posts. I enjoyed them. <laughs> yeah. Lots of creativity. Yeah. Oh, it's always good. And we potentially, we said last week, we're going to have another one of those coming up right away. So yeah. keep tuned in for that. Yeah, more details coming soon. Um, okay, just a handful of things that came in that we're going to talk about. Uh, there's probably lots more in the previous weeks, but we decided to just pull the report from last week yeah. rather than send out a 15-page receiving No report. one wants to see that. <laughs> um, we got a handful of Beretta shotguns. we got a handful of Taylor's firearms. So those are your replica Western guns. And we got a selection of ammo among various other. There's kind of just tidbits of everything sprinkled into this one. Uh, but we did want to mention we put together a couple uh, new items. So Cellular Embellet 22 40 grain ammo. Yes. We have available in 2,500 and 5,000 round ammo cans At for a heck of a, a deal. crazy price. <laughs> so you're getting a huge discount on it by buying bulk. Yeah. So check those out and snag them all you can because... Like yeah. I said at the start of this, it's not a you know a dry spell. It's just a shortage everywhere because no one has any. Right. If we had it, we could sell it 13 times over, but we just don't have it. We have what we have. Yeah. All right, and one last thing to note: if you are planning on hunting this year, get on it. <laughs> get now. your button gear and uh, get ready for that now. Not a week before. <laughs> Do it now. Months of planning. Pull out those rifles, pull out those shotguns, make sure they're running. Yeah. Get them in here if you need anything done. We also have these. Oh, right. I forgot. Bam. Sorry. Um, so last, I think it was last week, we mentioned that we had a shipment of B&T come in. A um, handful of firearms. We wanted to kind of highlight this one. Yeah, there's the APC-9K. It's a newer one to us, right? Not a pro. Yeah. We had a couple errors. Yeah. So confusion, it's so. very similar to a pro, but it's not a pro because it still uses the TP9 lower, but it does have the removable grip. Uh, it does not have the uh, three, uh, the wire stock. Right. I'm trying to think of the uh, proper name for it. It does have this uh, folding collapsible stock, which has a crazy <laughs> amount of adjustment right there. Boom. Uh, and that obviously does fold. It comes with a T1, iron sights, and dual charging handles that's pretty cool so non-reciprocating folding dual charging handles it does have the tri-lug adapter on the end you are threaded there so you can put whatever comp you want to it and it just has a little hk style hook sling swivel in the front to stop your hand from going forward and having an ouchie, an ouchie. nobody wants an ouchie no <laughs> okay all right well that's everything we have for you today um yeah i'm gonna anything. go cry he i think He's probably regretting his decision to shoot today. Shoot yeah, today. I'm gonna. I'm gonna Somebody's go. Somebody's gonna tell you. I told you so. Chelsea. <laughs> so exactly. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We hope you have a good weekend, and we'll see you next week. Don't forget about us.